Okay guys, here's one of the movie sections here at the FYE. Now, as usual, the prices here at FYE are a bit exorbitant. Since uh, Scream Factory is having their Shocktober sale, this, the Fly Collection, I believe is going for like less than $30 if you order from their site. But as you see here, it's going for $79.99. This is kind of like what Shout and Scream sells uh, normal prices. So at least here you're guaranteed a slip cover as opposed to the Silent Night, Deadly Night, or um, Vampires. And you see Entity has a slip sealed and everything. So you just gotta, you know, look. But in the Steelbook section, seeing this is not too bad of prices at $19.99. And you know, here is the, the rest of the section here. We got um, CDs and then I noticed some vinyls here. You know, I was hearing or reading along the lines that some people's FYEs is, is just turning into like a hot topic. The movie and music section is still in full effect. So I was seeing that at um, Big Lot. There's another uh, 4K. Um, but this was confusing me because this is the Ryan Reynolds uh, version. They just made it look like um, the original. Because I was like, what, what happened to the original cover? Um, I really need to add this to, to my collection um, with a slip cover and everything. Um, 4K. I really, I really enjoyed that movie. So, you know, you're always gonna, you know, find some gems here um, from John Crawford. I saw what you did. 4.99. You know, that's not the worst thing ever. Or the 1990. Did, did Tom Savini direct this? Yes, with Tony Todd, $6.99. Here is um, Flatliners, an Arrow video going for $34. I heard they're remaking Final Destination for HBO. So I'd, I'd love to get the five film in my collection. But here's something like this is crazy. $34.99 and you're not even gonna get a slip case but then $3.99 for um you know a DVD but look at that $9.99 for that DVD that's crazy here look at this so you know for all you old school collectors here you know $19.99 now this is pretty good $14.99 it just sucks that that sticker is on the case I'm not into these VHS cases too much but that's not a bad price there. Um, here are some new releases. And as you see, you're you're always gonna pay a little bit more and even get this sticker on the slipcover because this is going for 15, I believe, at um you know at Best Buy and the major stores like that. So you know Thor for 29. And look at this 79 for the Jurassic World. This was actually, you know, kind of what it's going for online i'm sure i think i don't know if this has hit 35 yet but as you see here the sale for this universal classic monsters is 179 i mean i got it for like 60 during a flash sale so you know these places are fun just to like come in and, and look and maybe you'll get lucky got a slip case of the um grease look at this a cheech and chong uh, collection six ninety nine. That's not the worst thing ever. Halloween going for $30 and it has that hard back case which I never added to the collection and I never added those movies either um, here's the stranger sequel pray at night okay I just noticed this that uh, used movies is buy one 
get one fifty percent off. Look for this sticker used. Look at this six ninety eight before hostel. Very strange name. Let's see arachnophobia here for uh, six ninety nine. The new classic, the Babadook. Oh, no price on that. Um, ooh. $6.99 for Hostel and Hostel Part 2. You know what? This is actually pretty cool. Does it, it should come with a, a digital. Hmm. And I see my bloody Valentine with, um, a slip. And we see Esther. I really enjoyed, uh, the sequel, First Kill. And then this is the, uh, the remake, the 2011 version. In another case for, uh, Shiver. Okay, and then we got the, uh, final haul of movies. Oh, look, even, uh, this is crazy, though. $17.99 for a used snapper of, uh, Bronx Tale. I always like seeing stuff like this, but I don't like that price. $34.99, $29.99. Hey, you never see this one. Operation Dumbo Drop. $14.99. You go Blu-ray of, uh, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Great soundtrack and the dvd of uh, the never ending story and the double feature 7.99 the page master you know for 4.99 not bad now i actually think these are, these are pretty good right here even though these are dvds for 29.99 this um rogers and hammerstein's collection it doesn't say used so you think that's uh new here this is used this mgm Class was you no, know, you never see anything like this. Here's another uh, one, too. Uh, stop eating my sesame cake, Congo. Oh, but look at this a true romance. Even though you know you have to get these online, you can at least get some sort of discount, even at Barnes and Noble. Yeah, this is I was kind of looking for this. The Valley Girl, this soundtrack is really good. I just I just watched this movie for the first time with Nicolas Cage. Some more pretty cool titles like this uh, Fox Searchlight Collection for $6.99 with Juno, Napoleon Dynamite, and Little Miss Sunshine. And then here is a Grandma's Boy classic. <laughs> Where else can you find the DVD to Jexy? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the FYE. There was lots of cool stuff to check out. And now, why don't we head on over to our next stop, Goodwill. Okay guys, here we are at another Goodwill DVD shopping video. Okay, here you go. DVDs, $3 plus. So you know, maybe we could find something like Volcano if this is the Anne Heche and Tommy Lee Jones movie. Almost looks like a bootleg, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, you kind of never see this out. Oh, and it has a, a little insert there, so it's not really um, a bootleg. So here's the Art of War. Um, Wesley Snipes in a snapper. Good condition, though. But here is a slipcase of uh, Death Race. You know, unrated. Ooh. As far as remakes go and PG-13 remakes, I thought this one was pretty good. Prom Night. Here is, um, this is the end. Maybe it comes with a digital and um, a slipcover, but Saw 3 had my attention here. Um, it looks like you got a little lenticular. Oh, this is Saw 2, I'm sorry. Uh, Saw 3 is kind of like the, the best one. Um, but here are the uh, special features. What is this? Gallows? So there are some interesting finds in here. I'm not sure if that went to the theater or not. This is Pushing Daisies, the pie hole. I kind of, what is Pushing Daisies? The complete first season. Okay, so that's a TV show. You got that original Trading Places, uh, that Paramount, you know, uh, bare, bare bones edition. Now you see, I would 
almost like to get the uh, what lies beneath. Because um, I, you know, used to have this back in the day. Ooh, and it comes with an uh, insert, you know, um, comes with a, a commentary there. And um, I would almost like to get that. I'm not sure if this is a, um, a rare title. I know that the, I think the Mist is the rare title. I don't know if uh, Dreamcatcher is. I see we also have a sealed uh, True Blood, the complete third season. You know, that's uh, that's actually pretty cool. And you get um, uh, a slip for How to Train Your Dragon 2. And uh, let's see, a Blu-ray of uh, The Sandlot comes with a DVD. Here is the DVD for Red Eye. Um, I like the original poster art where it's just like their two hands on the on the chair. Oh look, Honey 3. Where have you been? Dare to dance. And then, but also, we got this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original movie, and then part three. Where is uh, The Secret of the Ooze, which is part two. Okay, so here's the mist. This would actually, is this, um, is, now is this rare? You know, it comes with a little insert there. You got a two disc. Um, I did see this movie recently on the Max, and, um, yeah, you know, look at this, you got a uh, commentary, so this is one of those where it's like, it's all about the ending, and, um, yeah, th this might be fun, I might need to hang on to this as well as uh, Dreamcatcher, and maybe do some research, see if it's, uh, worth, um, maybe spending three dollars on... Um, I also see Memento here. What I really want to find is those New Line Platinum series of Seven and Fight Club. That's really what I want to find. Ooh, look at this. A snap of disclosure. You know, that um, Michael Crichton, the sexual harassment. Look at that. 44 chapters. I remember she, she kind of gives him like a BJ in this. <laughs> I, I remember liking this movie, Disclosure. Um, here's the worst movie of all time in a, a nice little, uh, what is this? Harry, Hello Mary Lou? Prom Night 2? Jeez, that's pretty rare. I mean, rare. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is that, is that worth, is that worth getting? The, the, the movie is not too bad. Uh, this is a pretty rare title too. Frequency in the New Line Platinum series snapper case. Now, what I remember most about this movie is that Reno 911 episode where they're just, uh, you know, trying to save this guy from a fire. He's like, my, my book is inside. And he describes the book and they're like, no, 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 it's Frequency. So this is actually, um, seems pretty cool. I was also seeing, uh, here's a Kino, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Look at this, 50th anniversary. Um, new audio commentary. I mean, of course, I want that in 4K. But, um, you know, you just get so excited when you see it right in front of you. Ooh, full frontal and four rooms? Holy Christ. Now, this might be worth buying. I've been wanting to re-get full frontal. I used to have the standalone of full frontal, and that's um, a Steven Soderbergh um, movie. And then for some reason, Four Rooms was popping into my head, which is that, like, anthology movie, one uh, one story from Tarantino, one from Rodriguez, and then, like, two others. And then there's these two movies, which I haven't seen. So this is a pretty interesting find that I might just have to put to the side. Okay, I just found some more titles that maybe I'm not used to seeing, which is, um, what is this? The Veil. It's a television series of Boris Karloff. So that's definitely an interesting find. And here's a snapper case of Roger and me. So yeah, I remember seeing this in, um, you know, my, my communicating through film and video course. Look at that, a commentary by Michael Moore. Look how thin he was compared to now. So yes, this is about the, uh, the General Motors. There it is. Flint, Michigan. That's it. So, um. Yeah, it, it destroyed that town. And isn't that the, the water crisis, Flint, Michigan? That's really cool right there. So, um, yes, uh, 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 as well as Bowling for Columbine, you should check out Roger and me. And then also here is um, Cutthroat Island with Gina Davis and Matthew Modine. You just never see this anywhere. 
what is this the sound of music I was looking at a Roger and Hammerstein's collection out in uh, FYE of course I have this on blu-ray but get a nice little uh, insert inside okay we also have um, Maleficent with a uh, slip cover and uh, bad moms here and then here's a snapper of uh, Miss Congeniality you know it's a pretty nice cover Gee, I that movie's rated R I didn't know that I almost thought it was PG-13 that can't be right I gotta check on that Miss Congeniality was rated R oh my god for a sec for sexual reference and a scene of violence hmm I gotta do my research Here's the, the wackness, Constantine, which they just um, announced a, a sequel of oh, a blockbuster exclusive to 1408. That's another one that I kind of never see around. What is this? Truth or Consequences, NM, Vincent Gallo. That's um, Buffalo 66. So some pretty rare titles in here. Then you got a, a Once Upon a Time in Mexico uh, with a slipcase and sealed. And then, um, how come I'm seeing this movie everywhere? Boiler Room? Oh, this is a snapper. With a sticker on the disc. Oh, here is um, Pleasantville, but this should be in a snapper. It's a New Line Platinum series. Okay, another rare title and a snapper. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen winning London. Never heard of that one. Look at these girls. Hell yeah, stylish. And I see another snapper in here. Um, you got mail sealed and everything. Um, what is this? Rescue Me? That's a show, right? Wait, first season with a slipcase. Ooh, kiss the girls with um, no insert and a loose disc. August Rush. Oh, that's right, this is, no, I'm confusing it with something else. I'm con October, I'm confusing that with October Sky. What is this, R2-D2 beneath the dome? <laughs> what does it say? That This is the R2 you never knew. All right, well, here's Miss Congeniality 2, and this one was rated PG-13. So maybe it was like one of those major league moments where the first one's rated R and then the sequel is rated PG-13. What is this? The Ugly Duckling and Me. Uh, I was looking at this Lean on Me with a, a, a snapper case. I need to, you know, catch up on this one of these days on, on the Max or something. And then this... Um, sealed one of the bachelor okay found some more titles like saved with mandy moore and macaulay Culkin, and also mr wonderful a snapper with matt dylan and annabelle Shikashra. and look at this amistad sealed and everything i never see this anywhere here's uh, terrence malick's the new world so that's a, definitely an interesting find. Available on the Criterion, but here is the DVD. And my friend was actually recommending this movie to me, Joex Noel. So pretty interesting. I'm finding uh, so many titles here. And Waiting to Exhale, Sealed. Not a bad cover. And what is this, Willows Away. The tourists aren't the only visitors. Very interesting. And uh, speaking of the slip covers, I did see this Mother's Day slip cover for the notebook. And then this one for B movie. You never see this movie out anywhere either. And then here is Zodiac. And also the, the Jackal. Universal Collector Series with no uh, special features. Okay guys, I am back from my trip to FYE and Goodwill and earlier I saw Smile, thumbs up, and let me show you what I got at Goodwill.
Okay, so you probably guessed maybe, but I got the mist, the two disc collector's edition. I made sure it was widescreen and I looked online and I'm thinking this is the one going for 30 bucks. There's another one going for five dollars. Uh, that's the one I probably picked, but I just decided to, you know, go ahead and uh, grab this for three dollars. Um, that's why I didn't buy too much because these locations that, that I'm at, the, the movies are going for $3 versus um, $0.99 cents and uh, $2 at the other locations. And let me show you what else I got. I ended up getting the uh, quadruple pack of full frontal four rooms. What is it? Beautiful Girls and Playing by Heart. So uh, that should be fun. I ended up not getting anything at FYE and I'm kind of glad because you know you just buy stuff that you don't need like this I don't need either but at least it's only um, a few things versus a lot of things. Anyway that's it for the video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tap that notification bell. Let me know what you got at your Goodwill and I'll see you next time.